You must remember this A kiss is still a kiss Hi guys and welcome to today's cocktail vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to make an oatmeal cookie. This one is for YouTube uh, subscriber Sienna Storter. Uh, the oatmeal cookie I used to make years and years ago. Uh, it's a really rich, creamy cocktail and it was always really well received despite the fact that people were scared off by the fact that it has Jägermeister in it. Uh, so I picked up a few bottles in the last two or three days. So this little tiny baby Jägermeister. Um, I'm not probably going to use it in too many cocktails, so I thought I'd just get a mini one. I'm buying enough booze as it is. Um, I've got the an artichoke bitter, an Italian bitter, and then I've got Punta Mess, uh, which is a vermouth. So uh, in the upcoming videos, you'll be seeing these used a, a little bit. But for now, I'll put these aside. So this one's a shaking cocktail. So I've got a, a large coupe glass set aside, and that's chilling. And I'll grab my cocktail shaker. I can't remember the exact uh, measurements what I what I used to make and I don't know where I got the cocktail from but I used to make it like 10 to 15 years ago so I'm just going to do equal parts and then see how it goes and give you some feedback based on that 22.5 mils for each ingredient so Jägermeister and Bailey's Irish cream same thing 22.5 mils of course you can always up it to a full shot if you like and I've got uh, butterscotch, so butterscotch snaps. I didn't have a bottle, so I had to steal some of someone. <laughs> Three quarters shot. And this is half half, so uh, half milk, half cream. And this I'm gonna do, say about 45 mils, a uh, shot and a half. Actually, I'll, I'll do a double shot, 60 mils. Lengthen it out, out a little bit, especially considering it's got Jägermeister. So fill your cocktail shaker with ice and give it a good shake. Then strain into your chilled coupe or martini glass. Now ideally you'd uh, have like an oatmeal cookie or an Anzac biscuit or, or something like that and then just crush cookie over the top. Uh, I don't have any cookies available randomly lying around in the warehouse so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg. There you have an oatmeal cookie. Cheers. You definitely get the, um, the Jägermeister kick to it, a lot of, lot of spices. Uh, I probably want that a little bit creamier, so I'd, rather than using half and half, just go for straight cream, make a little bit thicker uh, texture to it, but uh, still tasty, but needs a little bit of tweaking. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for another cocktail video. Cheers.